What's going on YouTube? It's my Larks here and we're back today for another video on YouTube, of course. So today we're going to be doing a player review on Leandro Spinazzola, one of the standout players of the Euro so far. As If you've been watching Italy, obviously they've progressed so far to the quarterfinals and he's, he's been absolutely unreal. So for all his good work, he's got a Foth Summer Stars card and rightly so to be fair, he's played absolutely unbelievable. So if we have a look for his card, he's a left-back card. That is where he's been playing during the Euros. He's six foot one. His work rates are medium, medium. So, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter about their work rate. Sometimes they can be high medium and not really make runs in behind. So I've used cards that are medium, medium, but make a lot of runs in behind and they're constantly on the move. So I think it just depends on the player, to be fair. He's right-footed, four-star, four-star. For, so for me personally, I could easily play this card in midfield. You could probably play this card at centre-back because he's got such high defensive stats. 96 pace, as you can see. It only cost me 112k. Obviously, as I always say in most videos, these cards will go down during the week. So if we take a look at his attribute details, 96 pace. So he's going to be absolutely rapid. 92 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. So you've only, even got to, you've only really got to worry about boosting his acceleration if you want. 75 shooting, which is good. Obviously, he is more of a defensive player, so shooting's not going to be that good. But, I mean, 87 attacking position, 80 shot power, 80 long shots is decent enough. Obviously, like I said, he's a defensive player, so his defensive stats are not going to be that good anyway. 93 passing, so he's got 99 crossing. So, to be honest, he's probably going to be best off in a fullback position anyway. If you can get him down the wings, yeah, it's going to be unreal. Especially if you play five at the back, three at the back, whatever. Or you play your, your fullbacks to get, uh, to get forward on the attack. It's going to be very good. 98 short pass, 91 long pass, 79 curve. So, in all, apart from the curve, everything is just unreal, really, so far. 94 dribbling, obviously the 92 agility, 82 balance, 92 reactions, 96 ball control, 96 dribbling, 92 composure. His, his dribbling is amazing, especially for, for a fullback. You know, and like I said, if you, if you do play five at the back, he's going to be, he could basically play as a winger. So, he can do both jobs. Obviously, you won't know until we go into the game of rivals, but looking at the stats so far, this is looking very good. 91 defending, 92 interceptions, heading accuracy, AE, which is irrelevant really, as long as you can actually make the headers. 92 defensive awareness, 93 stand tackle, 93 slide tackle. I have put an anchor on him, so once he's on 10 chem, this will boost most of the stats that we need to go up. And last but not least, the physical, 97 jumping. He's already six foot one, so he's gonna win the majority of his headers anyway, so we don't really need to worry about the heading accuracy. 99 stamina, always a huge plus, especially at this stage of FIFA when most cards have 99 stamina. 83, stam 83 strength, obviously that's going to be boosted anyway because obviously I'm going to have anchor on him and that will put it up to 93. And he's got 87 aggression, again it's going to be boosted because I've got an anchor on him. So I'm not going to lie, I'm actually really excited to use this card after watching him at the Euros. I am going to try him in several dis different positions, I'd like to try him at left back, centre back and I want to try him in midfield as well. Not so much as a box-to-box -box midfielder, more 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 as a holding midfielder, just because I think he's got all the stats to play like left back, right back, because he's four star, four star as well. I think he could easily play centre back if you really wanted him to, just because of the jumping, the acceleration. Obviously, a lot of people do already use centre back, left backs, and right backs at centre back. So let's get into a game of rival. I'm excited to use this card. Let's see how we get on. So there we go. Straight away, like I said. I knew defensively it'd be good. There's an aerial threat in his own in both boxes as well. There we go, straight in again with the interception. What a lovely ball. And a nice little assist already. There you go, a little nice little pass with his old right foot as well. Got a nice little bridge away. Lovely ball again. Assist number two for Spinazzola already. As you can see already, he's already like an attacking threat. Second half, I'll definitely move him into midfield. There you guys can see, even though he's medium, medium, he's still getting up the pitch. Still busting a gut to get there. Oh, it's a great ball. And again, there he is, he's off again.
And again, he's actually so quick as well. I probably, probably should have released it. And again, another great pass down the line. There he is again. What a card this is, by the way. So I've just used Spinozola in the first half. As you can see, I used him a lot going down the wing, overlapping, making sure he's getting back defending. He's still got 76 fitness, which is good. For this second half, I do want to use him in midfield though, because he's all round unreal. Four star, four star. I feel like he's wasted at left back. He's too good to play at left back. So I'm going to try him at centre midfield, like as a holding midfielder this, this second half, and let's see how he gets on. So as you can see, I've got him into the centre mid role for the second half. You see the way how quick he is as well, that he just steams forward like this. There we go, have another assist, Spinosola. Another nice little pass. I know I may be winning 7 2, but this is Division 1 on Rivals, so. And again, there he is, Spinozola again. Like I said, I think this card's like the Italian Hullet. Nice little spray out wide. Another assist. There we go. Spinozola. What a player, by the way. That's the thing. He just seems to be everywhere. Also, I am using him and, and making sure we can get the best of him. But I don't even like he just. Steam past people. His passing is immense. Like I said, I'm calling this card the Italian Hoodit. I don't care. It's solid defensively, very strong. The only thing that's missing is a five star weak foot. Again, another great pass. This kid's just letting Spinozola look so good as well. They're leaving people for dead. I know he's bringing his goalkeeper out, but again, you know, this is the 90th minute. This is the 90th minute, and again, look, he's just making tackles after tackles. So, as we see from the footage in Rivals, I was excited before using this card. I loved it in-game, honestly. What a card. I had an anchor on him, which obviously boosts the acceleration, defending, and physical. For me, he's like an Italian hullet. You know, he's six foot one, he's very strong, he's very agile, he's quick. As you can see, I was bridging round that was in Babu's, like flashback card, Lazaro, Tots card. You know, and obviously I'm playing in Division 1 Rivals. You know, I don't just go and play in any old game mode. I'm really excited to use this card. This would be one of the cards I'd actually put straight into my team. Even on, even I'd actually play him on 7 chem as well. I would have this card at left back in my team. So strong. And that's what I said, as I played him first half, I played him at left back, second half I played him at centre mid. To be honest, I think he was better at centre mid, because obviously he's so strong and he's quick, and defensively so good, obviously the anchor boosted all his defensive stats. But what a card, you know, I, I can't speak highly enough of this card. And to think I paid, what, 112k for it, obviously I got 8 assists, the kid at the end obviously lost his head a little bit, I was playing and kept to bring the goalkeeper out. Literally everything, you know, his passing, dribbling, obviously he's four star, four star. He moves so smooth. He's six foot one. Obviously, going back to his attribute details, physical stats, jumping's very good. Obviously, I've boosted the strength. Obviously, in game, that will be up to 93. Defense, defensively, he's maxed out. Agility, he's got 92 agility, which is very good for someone of his size. You know, in my team, I've got Valverde. I think Spinozola and Valverde as a midfield two would be absolutely unbelievable. Obviously, shooting's not great, but he is a defensive player. Personally, I'd play him as a, a holding midfielder. But yeah, like I said, I, I can't speak highly enough of this card. I really enjoyed using it. You know, you can, could probably play this card at centre-back as well. I didn't use him at centre-back because I think he'd be wasted at centre-back because of how good he is. But going on his defensive stats, physical stats, yeah, this card could more or less play literally anywhere. It's, it's a definite Hullet Gang card. Like I said, I can't speak highly enough of it. It's probably one of the best player reviews I've done and the most enjoyable games I've done is with this card. So if I'm going to give this card a rating out of 10, 
it's definitely going for it's a 9.5 the only thing that's missing as i always say in most videos is just that five star skill moves or five star weak foot but listen if you can fit this guy in your team you've got to get him in your team honestly like i said he can play center mid left back right back he can he can play center half 100 percent he can play center half great stamina as well as you see even in the 90th minute he's still running forward running past people what a great card what a very very good card if, if i'm being honest there isn't any any bad things about him really he's shooting maybe you could say but you don't really shoot with your holding midfielders anyway let's be honest all your defensive players so that that is literally the only bad thing about the card but like i said he's a defensive player you're not going to shoot with him anyway so but that is all for today's video thanks for tuning in another great player review as i always say i really appreciate it like subscribe comment you know it means a lot i'm really grateful for it but thanks for tuning in and until next time